Okay, that's... I forgot to do an intro, but hey, some flowers! Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name's Danelli. I go by Danelli Danelli on Instagram and YouTube and TikTok. You don't have to speak. Don't need I'm trying to get used to this, but I, if you guys can tell, I have a new um, quality of camera and. You can see everything. We like one in the morning or about to be one in the morning and I'm over here filming Dollar Tree hauls. What is life? But hi, um, let's get started. You guys read the title right. I did spend about 75 to 80 worth of makeup from Dollar Tree, but let me explain, okay? Let me explain myself. Um, I'm gonna show you everything that I got and I'm also gonna do my face you guys Look at this So I took my whole dresser out. Can you believe these were a dollar? They're so chic so Beautiful there's this pair they have like they literally have every kind of lash for Every kind of person like if you're dramatic or if you're a little soft or if you're a little cute So yeah, those are like a lot of lashes. They have different types for the makeup part now This is from LA colors and it's a lip oil Which I don't know lip oils have been so like in now. This is the flavor watermelon. So I'm like yes LA colors gloss this one's in clear I really like glosses, so this is why you're gonna see a lot of glosses. This LA Colors, I have used these before and they are so good, like they are pigmented for a dollar. LA Colors is really coming through. You can also find like hard candy at Dollar Tree, which I am amazed because I looked up the price of this for a dollar. I also found this Win a Wild liner and I feel like I wanna use it for my eye. Like this color is so perfect for my waterline. That's just me though. I love putting color in my waterline because it just gives you that little like soft look. I also picked up this LA Colors. Like I throw, like I told you guys, they're coming through LA Colors, and it's a matte foundation. I'm kind of nervous to try this on my face. I'm not gonna lie. It's, she said she's gonna do a full face, so she's gonna do a full face. And also this brow pencil, which I'm gonna insert like a like what I think it's a dupe of. I um, I tried it. You guys it does really does do like hair like strokes like as you can see right there it has that kind of tip but let me insert like what i think it's a dupe of right here even picked up a setting spray this is how you know i'm going in for you guys i'm trying everything it's an la color setting spray so picked up a second one i'm telling you i really really like these this plump lip from la colors um i'm not really into that color but i heard plump I'm like, I'm here. This is the brand Beauty Benefits. Beauty Benefits Hollywood that I found at Dollar Tree. And let me just say, they're so inclusive, which I love that because we need inclusivity. We've been needing inclusivity. So the fact that Dollar Tree is coming through with that. Period! I also picked up this LA Colors eyeliner in blue, which I think is pretty awesome. One of my favorite finds from the brand Ardell to be at Dollar Tree is amazing, but this is a fiber gel, which fiber gels, I use them. I use like the e.l.f. brand, so if I can find a cheaper dupe, I'm there. Another LA Colors, this is a mascara. I don't really have like much hopes for the mascara, if I'm being honest. I have this velvet lippy and look at the color. I feel like it's so bomb. So they, let me just tell you, I've used this eye curler before and it's actually bomb. Like it actually helps curl my lashes. My lashes are very like pelos, like para abajo. So like hairs down, so. This actually works, so I would recommend you guys to pick it up because I actually have tried it before. So even got a LA Colors face primer. I'm kind of nervous, like I said, to use these on my face, but I'm doing taking one for the team. So picked up this cute cosmetics bag. I feel like it's cute. It's clear. That's just me. So they have these cosmetic sponges. I only picked it up because of this. Um, it's actual like beauty sponge, so I needed one because, like I said. 
she's doing a full face so i'm even using sponges and brushes uh, these are facial wipes i don't really use facial wipes but i mean when i have like leftover foundation i just i mean leftover <laughs> leftover powder for my eyes this is from hard candy this is one of the palettes that i found which amazed me you amaze me but because look at these are the colors that it comes with and I checked the price on Walmart. I'm gonna even put it right here. Um, I got it for a dollar and it has shimmers and also mattes. Beauty Benefits Hollywood. Like I said, they're very inclusive and I decided to pick this one up to use it as a powder bronzer. I love powder bronzers, so yeah. And it's huge, like are you kidding me? Hopefully it works. Hopefully it's she's pigmented. And moving on, this they even sell e.l.f. Um, I picked up this elf shape wax pencil beauty benefits Hollywood this is actually like contouring and highlight like highlight as in powder not like the actual highlight but this hard candy highlight I did check it online and I'm gonna insert right here how much it usually is but look how beautiful it is and it's called 24 golden highlighter like the name got me this got me they also had this elf brush it's a stippling brush i even picked up a la colors powder loose powder their elf product this is the blending this is a concealer i feel like this is so beautiful it's an eyeshadow duo from elf even have eyelash applicators like are you kidding me i picked up a second one of these just because i'm like i'm pretty sure i'm gonna like this i also picked up this this is just like something i wanted to pick up it's a tape and i just i thought that it would be perfect to like apply so it wouldn't be too harsh on your skin i also picked up this little like this little mirror so i can be holding it i already showed you guys these mirrors before i already showed you guys the lashes like oh my gosh they're beautiful they're so worth it if you find any of these brands it's called oni I would suggest picking it up there's so many for me to actually be able to go through that i also got this la girls eyeliner so this is like for your waterline i also found this la colors highlight and it's like a duo i'm telling you this is bomb i can't say it enough but if you ever see these pick them up because they actually work perfectly you see these wet and wild brushes and i also have picked them up before and i already tried these but they work so bomb i wanted to add the this to show you guys because i've used it before it's basically a gel brow and it works so bomb like i'm not even joking like it actually works and it's not even drying i want to show you guys this is another la colors lippy that lip liner that i got this is another color too just take a moment of prayer for me not to break out because I'm taking one for the team. Like I said, I got this LA primer. This one claims that it corrects dullness. Um, it has like different ones too. They have like different kinds. So yeah, this is how it looks. Let's see how it comes out. Hmm. Okay, let's see how this goes. Hmm. It must smell bad. Okay, so it doesn't smell bad, and I feel like it did do like some tint. To my skin i don't know i kind of i'm kind of like this i kind of do like tell me if you see a difference because i feel like i look paler <laughs> but either way i feel like it did help it's like color correcting yellow i like it it helped my redness because you guys saw in the beginning like i was looking red pretty wet this and it's pretty bouncy by the way the concealer by elf and this is in the shade light beige it doesn't smell bad honestly <sighs> why is this giving me like flashbacks to like the good old days you see it's like very sheer i don't know if you guys can tell but it's like it's not full coverage if you're looking for full coverage this is not for you <laughs> I feel like this sponge is actually picking up the product. I don't know. I feel like it. I mean, it did a little something, but it didn't do full coverage. Like I said, this is not full coverage kind of kind of concealer. So that one, I don't. I don't really recommend it. To be honest, I don't really recommend it. 
unless you like like light coverage like for something just on the go then yes but if you're like that glam kind of queen then no okay moving on to the elf matte foundation i'm nervous for this let's go okay here's the foundation they didn't have like a lot of ranges by the way like they i think this is the deepest so they gotta do better on this but i don't know i don't think it's gonna be my shade like hmm i don't know as you guys can see my face is way lighter than my neck but let's see how this goes It doesn't smell bad, but it doesn't smell amazing. Let me just say that. No tea, no shade, but this kind of reminds me of like the Morphe foundation smell. I could be wrong, but um, I did pick up that foundation from Morphe and I just, I didn't really like it because of the smell. It was kind of like chemically. See how this goes. RIP to my skin. I don't think I'm liking this sponge. I don't think I'm liking this sponge. This sponge is kind of like, I feel like it's picking up everything. I don't know, see? But I can say the foundation, I feel like the shade is good. I don't see like, it's not full coverage, let me just say that. They claim to be matte. I'm not seeing matte with this. I'm seeing more luminous. So that's a lie. This is not matte. The weird thing though is like cleaning on to like dry patches, which I didn't know I had, but yeah, I don't know. I don't really No ma'am. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think you should go for that. So moving on to this loose powder. Let's hope this saves the party. But yeah. It's in this shade. It's in the shade light. Okay, so this is it out of the packaging. It's pretty cute and small, like compared to my hand. It's pretty small. And it has this inside, which I respect. This is one of the sponges to put the powder on top. Use this one right here. I haven't used these in forever, but. Let me just put it on half my face. I feel like this actually saved it. It gave me more color to my skin. And it made that matte foundation actually matte with this powder. You see that? It like gave me more full coverage. Oh my goodness. This powder is beautiful. Look at it. Oily. What is that? And matte. The Elf's definitely brush as well just to like pat things in. But you guys, let me just tell you, I feel like this LA Colors setting powder, it like saved the day. You know, it does give like a little bit of tint. So if you're in like the lighter section, I don't know if this would work for you because it does give you like a little bit of a tint as you can see. I would recommend you guys to pick this up. If you're like looking for a setting powder on a budget for a dollar, it did this. Wow. And honestly, I don't know if it's going to get flashback, but I mean, if you're not going to take pictures or anything like that, maybe just, I would say, try it out. Move on to eyes. And I'm going to go into this one. I'm pretty excited. Hopefully these actually work. Okay, look how beautiful this is. For a dollar, I'm so shook. This, no ma'am. <laughs> but yeah, look at them. They're so pretty. Shimmers and mattes. Perfect. Right in my lead too. I like like new colors. You guys are probably bored of seeing that boy. I like new colors. I'm open this one um, because it has this and I actually want a darker brown. So I'm going to do that. Oh my gosh. I didn't expect it to be this little. It's so cute. Super cute. I was going to put concealer on my eyes, but I don't, I don't really want to put that concealer on my eyes. So I'm just going to go in how it is. This brown's actually a shimmer. Never mind. I just looked at it close. It's actually a shimmer. I put it like this, and then so you guys know what colors I go into. Oh. oh, she's powdery. She is. Damn, boy. Um. 
it's barely there, like barely. So right here, maybe it's a little dark. Jeez. This is adding a little bit more color. I'm trying to not be negative nasty up in here. It's giving some dimension. There we go. So the setting powder underneath because it does have a lot of fallout. I saw that I first went into the first shade and it didn't do much. And now this one added a little bit more of, of depth. What I did, I patted in first and then I went ahead and blended it. So I went like this, pat it in and then blend it so I can get some some color into it. Let me see if maybe the shimmer works better. Let me see. I'm not giving up on this palette. I'm just not. There you go. See? Way better than the mattes. Yep. Pretty. I'm gonna go in with the concealer and just like create a crease really quick. The concealer is so sheer, but I think it did a little some. So. Okay, I feel like that's helping. That's definitely helping. Go around and just give it more dimension. But I'm gonna go with my finger to the shimmer and just add a little bit right there. Well, I mean, if you want a neutral palette like this, I would say just go for it. I mean, you don't have much to lose. It's a dollar. As you can see, the shimmers work better than the mattes. I will say that. I pick up two of these. This is for more like contouring and highlighting. And then this one's like more of a bronzer. So bronzer would like give you more color to your skin. And this is actually more texture, like more defined. I'm going with this one and not this one today. I'm pretty excited for this to see if it actually like works. Because if it does, that's so amazing to me. I love like this kind of color for bronzing. So yeah. Let me go into my Wet n Wild brush. Okay, that's... That's a lot of fallout. Pretty scared. But let's go. Let's go. I'm not mad at it. It's more like bronzer. It's not contouring, like I said. But yeah, let me do my other half of my face. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not mad at this. I kind of even went in with my nose like a little bit, a little bit of a brown. Would actually recommend you guys to pick this up. If you like this kind of like bronze bronze color they also had other colors but it's not bad it's just like it does have a lot of pigment so like i said just dust it out and then go in. into the blush it's the same brand beauty benefits hollywood look how cute this is and i don't know i just wanted this color this is why i picked it up okay going in with the same bronzing brush Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Use a leftover of the sponge and just go over it. Add some to my nose a little bit. I like this look. I would say yes. I would say yes, even though, you know, like it's instant pigment. It's like bam in your face. If you are into blushes that are like pigmented and you actually want it to look like blush, this is her. Okay, I wanted to show you guys that this actually works. You guys see the e.l.f. brush? You guys see it, right? You guys see that? It literally like helped. Like, why do I look crazy? Where is my brows? But this first Ardell fiber gel. Pretty excited to use this. I'm into like hairy brows, like not so perfected Instagram brows. Okay, so these are probably not everyone's favorite. Oh no! <laughs> it's, um, I didn't expect it to have that much pigment, but I do like that it looks like the feather brows. I know a lot of people are not into feather brows, but it did have like a lot of pigment. It's almost like a mascara looking, but it's not as like rough, and it is like very drying. But I am gonna go in next to the LA colors just to fill in the hairs that I don't have 
But yeah, let's see how this goes. If you want to try it out, I would, if you want, I'm gonna be using the eye curler first, and then going with the mascara from LA Colors, then the eyelash applicator. This is the eye curler, and like I said, these work really good, so. This is how it looks, and it has this kind of one, like a generic one. Right there, none right there. I wouldn't pick it up, it's not my favorite. It's kind of like smeared right here, and it's like, it just doesn't dry fast. I'm gonna add the Wet n Wild liner. This is actually a lip liner, but like I said, I wanted to use it under my eyes. Such a pretty like nude. If I add it to my waterline, I feel like it gave it like that cute look. I would highly, highly recommend this one. You can even use it for your lips. I mean, this is a lip liner. I mean, this doesn't feel like, like plasticky. This actually feels like metal. So I'm pretty impressed. So what I realized is I didn't get a uh, a glue from my lashes so I'm just gonna one time cheating one time I'm gonna use the duo glue that I love the clear one or I also love the black one but yeah like I told you guys they have different varieties from soft to glam to like every day to like cat eye like every kind of eye and to these ones I kind of want like a more dramatic look so yeah look at them Beautiful, I just want you to know. By the way, even these scissors are from Dollar Tree. Everything's from Dollar Tree. Um, but yeah, these are very sturdy. But I'm just gonna cut the ends of this. So I already added the glue. I'm gonna use my little Dollar Tree fan to dry them up. Oh my goodness, look how dramatic. And beautiful they are. Now I'm just gonna push them together. Okay, so this actually worked perfectly. As you guys saw, I just literally boop and then just clamped it together. And now I'm gonna put on my other lid. Moving on to highlight the from Hard Candy. The packaging, the display for this is so beautiful. Oh, like I feel like it's actually gonna be bomb. I could be wrong. But we're gonna go in with that brush that I like whipped that I um cleaned off because I like going into with small brushes. If you guys have been following me for a while, you guys know that. But I'm feeling like I wanna go into the gold one. It kind of reminds me of like the Fenty Beauty. Oh, she's powdery. But maybe it doesn't apply the same, so here we go. Oh wow, like legit, look how gold that is. I wanna see how the other one is, this one. Wow, that would look so good on deeper skin too. I'm going into this one. Wow, 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 I am shook. Then I'm gonna add a little bit of this one on top. I might be doing the extra most, but yes, look at that so good if if i recommend you guys to get anything definitely pick up this if you're only gonna pick up one thing and like like when you want highlight this gives you highlight i actually add some of the setting spray by la colors so the setting spray looks like this this is like so cute for like on the go especially here in arizona it's super hot so you need a little spritz let's see how this go sprays out i'm kind of scared okay that's oh that's perfect i thought it was gonna be like those kind of sprays that's like like direct but no it's misty <laughs> highly 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 impressed with this setting spray i feel like it like gave my powder some life because i did have a lot of setting powder but i feel like it actually helped and it make my it made everything just like sink in together like merge together together <laughs> together and do that little thing there's my lips. I'm gonna go in with this one from LA Colors. I really, really, really like this. You guys see how easy it glides and it didn't even break? Like, sometimes you use these and they just break. So beautiful. I kind of am interested in going in this LA Colors 
velvet this looks so pretty like this is like the kind of colors that I like to use so cute okay let's give it a little swatch wow that is so pretty it's like a mauve color wow it is not matte it's like a mousse exactly what it says it's not like it doesn't feel drying it feels really light weight on, light weight on your lips the same from la colors okay now i'm gonna go into the LA Colors Clear Gloss because I just like adding gloss on top. There you go. So pretty. Such a pretty combo. So let me take these off. This is the final look using all Dollar Tree products. I'm pretty impressed. My brows could have looked a little better. But other than that, I feel like everything looks so good. Um, but I, like I said, I, I told you guys each one how i liked it or what i didn't like about it i hope you guys enjoyed i hope you guys liked it make sure you like share subscribe and comment and yeah um i am gonna leave you with the first of the day like always but yeah let me know what was your favorite products let me know if you're picking anything up psalms 103 Verse 8, the Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and plenteous in mercy. In other words, he loves us so much that he gives his only son so that we are forgiven for our sins. Amen.